Mr. Ed here. Today is February 15th, uh, 2019, and I'm here at the Abbey. It's about 8.30 in the morning right here. And uh, if you can uh, kind of guess what I'm doing with this uh, trailer loaded up with these boxes, I'm headed up to Hammond. And what am I going to do up in Hammond? Well, these boxes, there's, uh, I think there's about 60-something boxes on the trailer right now. And, uh, and then the 40 that are in the truck. This is the 100 boxes that I put together right at uh, Christmas time. I'm going up to Hammond and we're going to get these babies hot wax dipped. And what we're doing is uh, we're dipping the, the bee box instead of painting them. We're going to be dipping them in a paraffin uh, wax uh, vat that's got uh, gum resin in it. That will, uh, um, by dipping the boxes into the, into the vat, the wood actually becomes impregnated with the wax and therefore the need of painting is uh, not necessary even though you can paint them um, after after they come out the vat but uh, by, by the process it virtually eliminates painting the need to paint. Um, the wax will um, prolong the life of these boxes oh, at least at least by 60 80 percent I mean even more these boxes they can last up to 10 years even I mean, I've been saying 20, but I don't believe it. But 10 years, so the investment of, of dipping these boxes uh, as opposed to painting them and replacing them over the, over the long term of that 10 years, it's a worthwhile investment to do it. So for me, it's an experiment. We'll try it, see how it works, and uh, um, you know, I think it's going to work pretty good for us. So by the grace of God, we'll head up to Hammond. Uh, Y'all meet Brian, who's going to be doing the work for us. and. Uh, show how the process is done. He'll probably give a, a better explanation on me than how to do it, but uh, I think it's all gonna work good. So let's go wrangle these boxes up to Hammond and get these bad girls dipped with hot wax. Right, this is Brian, uh, and, and this is his uh, boiling vat <laughs> that, that we've got uh, filled with uh, paraffin wax and uh, res gum res resin. Gum yep. He's got a tent pitched over here right now because it's threatening to rain right now. And uh, you can't get any any kind of water inside of this, or else it'll foam up, and then you're in trouble. Yeah, so we don't want we don't want to be in trouble. So he does three of them at a time, and uh, they'll cook for 15 minutes. And I'll show you the process of them cooking, as well as uh, drying. And it's a very fast process of drying too. I'll put, so this vat is built to hold accommodate three deep boxes. And I'll put two in long ways and stair step. The, uh, and then put one in the center. So that foam you see, that's moisture coming out of the box already. And how much will that uh, foam foam up? So it depends on how much moisture is in the wood. If there's a lot of if there's a lot of moisture in the wood, which there typically is on a day like today because it's real humid, the heat's going to cook all the water out, and it's going to replace it with the gum rot, with the uh, paraffin wax and uh, gum rods, and that's the reason that the boxes last so long. So explain explain to me what you told me before about how you know when the uh, the moisture in the wood has been uh, replaced by the um, wax. So when we first put them in there it'll start foaming and then it'll the foam will grow or it'll get more and more foam and I'll, uh, I'll judge it by this line that's in here. So as it'll get higher and higher and then when all the moisture is out it'll start going down and then that's I know the moisture's out and out from the wood. Out from the wood. The wood is hot and able to absorb the paraffin and the gum rods. It's got to be heated to, to let the paraffin and gum rosin mixture in the wood. So the gum rosin, all it does is it acts as an uh, it, adhesive to not let the, because when the wood shrinks again or shrinks back down, yes, it will push the paraffin out of the wood. But if you got the gum rosin, it makes it sticky to where it can't push it out of the wood, oh, so it slick. stays inside the wood. Very slick. So, if you notice on the boxes that are already done, they're not, they don't have a waxy coating on them because all the wax is in the wood, it's not on the outside. If you didn't cook it properly, 
and didn't have uh, gum rosin in here, you would have wax on the outside, which would just fall off, or you'd be able to knock it off. And it, it wouldn't be treated. It uh, wouldn't be heat treated. How long? How long do you have to cook the boxes in the in the uh, paraffin? So most of the articles say uh, 10 minutes, 12 minutes. I cook mine for 15 just to be on the safe side and then I'll watch the foam as well. It, so it really is the foam is the indicator as to the time of the... Uh, I'll watch it, yes. So I like to I like to have my temperature uh, of my uh, wax around 280 and you have to keep a watch on it because at about 315, uh, 315, 320 the wax will ignite itself because it's even it's, in it's the vat like, it'll yeah, yeah it'll just catch fire because it's a petroleum product so it's that, what candles are made out of so they're gonna burn at 300 and what about 320 it's gonna it's gonna just ignite yeah so watch your thermometer yeah thermometer. <laughs> so there's a fine line <laughs> in the midst of all this video we're doing <laughs> I forgot to set the timer but really and truly I mess up a lot too yeah. Really and truly, the timer is only a guideline to get me to start looking because I'm looking at the phone and if it's going up or down or what it's doing. So it's going down, that means my moisture's uh, out of there. So time to take them out. I know it's been over 15 minutes. So you're taking out the pusher block first? Yeah, I'm going to take out the pusher. So all of this, um, all of this kind of speckly stuff, that's gum rosin. There's a part of the gum rosin that doesn't dissolve well, and every time you add some gum rosin to it, you get that, and it clears up. And you can scrape that off. Yeah, it scrapes off really easy after it cools down. So take them out, let them drain, and if you watch them, they go from draining to dry pretty quick and that's that the heat it's sucking in that uh it's sucking in that uh that paraffin see like this is already dry it's just sucking it in so it, it so like right here in this joint right here where it's bubbling right there mm -hmm. so it's, it's just sucking it all in and that's really what i like about the idea of the paraffin because when we, when you paint, you're just painting on the surface, and you're painting on the outside. You're not so you got you got it on the on this side, that on the inside. I mean, it's pretty much all the way through at that point. And so now it's stop stop. So you got a three quarter inch board, and each side is it's going in at least at least a quarter inch for sure. I know, but uh, so yeah, so we're we're pretty much dry now. So I can take them off. And and uh, other videos, this is the time to paint them. If you if you're planning on painting your hive, this is the only time that you would be able to paint them. And when they're hot and still absorbent, if you let them cool down, the paint won't stick. It'll never stick. <laughs> so now, what are you gonna do at this point, Brian? So I'm gonna knock all this all this foam uh, rosin that didn't dissolve off of the box. Does that does that have to come off? No, it doesn't. It's just aesthetics. Well, it just takes, it takes a few minutes to do it. So that like your favorite part of it? Oh yeah, <laughs> by far my favorite part. <laughs> So after you dip uh, a certain amount, does that stuff become less? Yes. So it's only after you put in the, the rosin that uh, you'll get this stuff. That is correct. Okay. So Brian, what are you doing right here? So I am replenishing the paraffin wax. And how often do you have to do that? So a box will absorb about four ounces of wax per, uh, per mm -hmm. box. Uh -huh. And I've got to keep my level to where I will cover 
all the boxes that I'm going to put in. So then how often do you know, I mean, how do you know how often to put the... Uh, so the I'll box? just watch the level. So you probably won't, will have to do this process at least several times. Several times while I'm uh, cooking boxes. In addition to the paraffin wax, you got to put gum rosin in it. And so how much gum resin you put in there? So I'm at about, uh, about 15%. And it's not an exact size. So when I first built this pot, the original line was right here. And so when you're cooking, you're cooking the moisture out of the boxes and it foams up. Sure. And I extended it another six inches to accommodate this right here, this foam. If you didn't have that lip on there, that If I didn't foam, have that other six inches, I would already be in, in trouble right now. So the fire department would be here? Yeah, right. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> we don't like that. We don't want to see the fight men no, today. <laughs> not today. <laughs> oh, look at this. Brian's got the whole job finished. It took almost 12 hours to complete this job. 102 boxes, working uh, three boxes every 15 minutes. It's not a fast process. I had to leave Saturday around uh, 12, 1 o'clock. I had to leave here. Brian kept on work and he worked to almost 10 o'clock that night, Saturday night. And here it is Monday morning, I'm coming to pick them up. So all I've got left to do is secure them on the trailer and then bring them back to the Abbey. So that's all I have for you on that one for this one. So thanks for watching. Brian, thank you for doing this job for us. Keep on watching and I'll be making more. God bless. Mr. Ed, I'm out of here until the next video. Two more traps set. One of the column that I must have pulled three bees at three colonies of bees out of uh, last year. Got one set on top of that. Well, that box right there. <laughs> those are those are a, that's a swarm I caught last year. And look, look at this. Yeah, I haven't come pick that one up yet. That one's gonna get have to get picked up. I have another box put on it, and then I set one more on the other column. This place is just like bee haven back here. Let's go set some more traps. So I'm in bush right now, and I finished setting two traps. One of them I put on the, on this corner by the little shed right here. Uh, during the summer, there were there were I saw three hives in this shed. There's none in there right now. But as I'm setting these traps, um, I've got I've got scout bees flying all around me right now. Well, folks, today is February 16th. 2019 and look what has just arrived at the Abbey huh they got here around 11 o'clock today look at that I think I think we've seen seven or eight of them so far listen to that sound music to your ears huh for all us purple Martin lovers that is